do you think Biden going after Mosik and Garland on 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 Trump? Uh, do you think this this is a precedent now that's not going to be let go from here on out? I saw a video where he specifically said he had not spoken to him. So oh. Are you doubting the president? I a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, he's he's not really the most honest man. Even though he says, I don't know if he's, he had two questions being thrown at him, and which is one of the tips I have coming up is they asked him as far as uh, should should Americans like trust the, the Justice Department, you know, because they've been going after the wrong people, you know, just sitting on the right. That's basically what they're doing. And Biden, let me see what it's on here. Yeah, man, you know, it's it's just it's you're playing a very dangerous game when you are using your power law enforcement your opponent. law enforcement officials for political gain and we all see it we're not it's not like we're dumb we can all see what's going on here yeah i um, mean there's already a lot of people and and I, and I get it this is more on the local level but still i mean now i don't think i've ever heard as much criticism as the fbi of the fbi as i've had like over the recent years right when all this donald trump started happening but I mean, you already hear people on the local level saying that cr- criminal justice reform, criminal justice reform, they cannot be trusted, right? Well, now you're trying to spill it over into the national level, the federal level. Do you find that clip? Mm, yeah. yeah. What do you say to Americans to convince them that they should trust the independence and fairness of the Justice Department when your predecessor, Donald Trump, repeatedly attacks it? Because you notice I have never once, not one single time, Suggested the Justice Department what they should do or not do, or else to bring in a charge or not bring in a charge. I'm honest. See, he's honest. Was he honest when he failed to mention about the documents he had in his Corvette? <laughs> well, you remember I that, mean, right? Because after that, the fact, didn't we? Didn't yeah, after the fact, didn't we play a clip like right around the midterms or something like that, where it was like a, I think he was like on 60 Minutes, and they asked him a question. And I want to say he said something about he never took any documents, and then, won't 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 won, like yeah. a month or so later, there's a Corvette with like classified documents in his garage, not not properly secured. And um, there was a rumor that the, apparently that house or that vehicle was registered to Hunter his Biden. Son. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a damn good look, <laughs> considering considering everything that people suspect uh, on him his shenanigans with the Ukraine. Okay, all right, cool. All right. Look, like I said, man, look, bring all of them. I would all the mugshots. Tear it all down, huh? Tear it You'll all down. You'll put it up one by one. One by one. You Make got, it a segment. I, Make you, it a segment. We got your word on that. If if anybody gets thrown in jail, you will put the mugshots in the back. You Other will than take Donald down. Trump. Cla- Other than Donald Trump. I think especially Donald Trump. No, no, no. I want I want other people. I want all of them. If this is look, if you're gonna sit here and make it. Make an example of somebody. Hey, you should not take classified documents. Bring all of them. Bring all of them. That's all I'm saying. 